Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. Practically all of our managed file transfer solutions run on Java. So we thought it would be a good idea to come up with a couple of videos showing how to install Java on certain platforms. Today, you'll learn how to install Java on CentOS Linux version 7. Now, I'll be assuming you have a fresh install of CentOS that doesn't have any Java on it. To verify if there's really no Java in there, execute the following command in your Linux terminal. If you get something like a command not found, that means you still need to install Java. The first thing, of course, is to download Java. Now, you're probably expecting us to use the wget command on our CentOS machine. We're not going to use that, because some of the arguments you use with wget for this particular link sometimes changes. So to download Java, we'll just download it from another machine, it can even be running on Windows or Mac, and then make the download file accessible to the CentOS machine. So now, let's say we're on another machine. Google download Java JRE and look for the download link on oracle.com. When you get to the download page, select the version of the Java Runtime Environment or JRE that you want to download in our case that would be Java 8, and then read and accept the license agreement. Download the specific installer suited for your target platform. Here I'm choosing the Linux x64 RPM installer. Once you've downloaded the installer, you'll need to make it accessible to your target machine. In my case, because I'm running CentOS on a VirtualBox VM, I had to copy the installer into a folder on the host and then mounted that folder on my VM. And then back in my Linux machine, let's say I want to copy the installer into my home directory. So I navigate into the mounted folder containing the Java installer and copy it like so. The exact file name of the RPM package might vary depending on the specific version and patch number of the JRE. Once the RPM package has been copied into your target machine, Proceed with the installation. Because this is a CentOS system, I'll use the yum package manager like so. If all goes well, the Java RPM package should unpack and you should see something like this on your screen. Now to verify if Java has indeed installed successfully, run Java dash version again. The output you see on the screen, which returns the correct Java version, means you've successfully installed Java. That's it. Your system is now ready to support Jscape solutions like MFT Server, MFT Gateway, MFT Synchronizer, and so on.